Uh, hi students, uh, we, are, we are going to start with today's lessons. Uh, I'm Mr. Lamini, uh, teaching you computer practice and six. Today's section that is going to be covered is indexes. We'll do the indexes. Okay, the indexes are almost the same as the table of contents. But the difference with the indexes compared to the table of content is that indexes will normally go to the end of the document or the end of the book. Indexes uh, usually is called the glossary, another term that is used when referring to the indexes. So the indexes are, are there to list keywords, keywords that exist in your book or document. So they are listed under the indexes or sometimes called closer at the end of the document. So it, they guide you, the index guides you where to find a, a, a specific keyword in the in the document or your textbook so then let's go at the end of the document and get ready to insert the index usually you will have to let's activate the paragraph code usually you have to have the brand new Put a page break. You see, I inserted the page break by pressing Control Enter from my keyboard. You can also insert the page break under layout. You will find breaks and you choose page break. It does the same thing as Control Enter. So it gives us a brand new page here, which is the last. So the our index is cut there on the last. So then you will get maybe an, inst an instruction to say on the left type index and type index and on the right hand side uh, you type page number then you look at uh, into your margin uh, uh, what is the size of your our right hand margin and if you can see it's 16 centimeters, you don't have to remember that or uh, like it's not fixed. You will have to check, look at your margin to see at that specific document, what margin size do you have on your right hand side. You don't have to stress to remember a specific size. You look, it's 16. Then you go and insert a tab, a right tab, that will uh, allow page number to be right aligned. Because using the alignments, you cannot have more than one alignment on the very same line. Because in the term index must be on the left and page number on the right. Same line. How do you do it properly? You go under paragraph section, you click on... Uh, uh, the arrow the show paragraph dialog box this is the arrow show paragraph dialog box then once you are on the di dialog box for the paragraph this is the one then you go tabs from tabs you see the the size is 16 because it's between 15 and 17 so it's 16 then you type 16 space centimeter right the alignment must be right then you set then okay then your tab is inserted as you can see then what you do you press from the keyboard the tab key then once the tab key has been pressed then you can type page number then maybe the instruction comes to say after page number 
after this line, you must leave two lines open, meaning that your cursor must rest there on the third line. Because you have to leave one, two. That is why I activate paragraph code. It allows you to, to count easily the lines. One, two. But without the paragraph code being activated, you have to, it's difficult to track, but you can do it because one you will see two, then on the third line. But with paragraph code active, being active is easier. So we put a case. Then the instruction might be saying here, it must be, the, this heading must be bold and it must be capital letters. Change upper, the case to uppercase. Then, once that is done, then they will give you a few words to, to say you must make those words uh, those words must be part of the index. How do you do it here? When you are doing the index, we were just preparing for the index so far. Usually, these are the instructions that you will receive to prepare for the index. Then, you, for when you are about or when you want to insert the index now, you go to References. Under References, we've got the section here for indexes. Everything you need uh, on indexes, you will find it here. This is the section. Okay. Then let's do it. Uh, maybe let's say they want you to include the term uh, April. They want you to include April as part of your index. Let's say they choose four words. They want a uh, vegetable as the first one, the second one fruits. Okay, and then they say under fruits, apple, and grapes. Then we are done for teams. It's vegetables, then fruits, then apple, and then grapes. Let's do it. So what, what you need to do, you need to browse to, to the way that you are looking for. You highlight vegetables because you want vegetables to be part of index. And then what you do, you say under index section, you say mark entry. It's highlighted, it's mark entry. Then you say mark all. Close. Then all your vegetables, all the words, uh, vegetables are now indexed. They will be included on the index. As you can see, that surrounding next to the word index. Maybe you don't want it here. On the table of content to include these words from the table of content then you will delete you are seeing this term here because paragraph code is active if we deactivate paragraph code it hides but for you to be able to see which words are, are included on the index you need to activate paragraph code then it shows you but let's say we don't want the, the weights from the table of content to be part of the index. We remove this one and you remove delete by deleting. So it's finally from page, from this page onwards to have a one. So you can track what is included as index, as part of the indexes and what's not. Okay, let's carry on. The next one is fruit. You can choose any, any, any of these words. It's fruits. We highlight fruits. Then, under references, that's where index is. Then you say mark entry. Then mark all. Close. There is fruit. All the words fruit are highlight are now part of the index. You only see this when you activate paragraph code as I showed you with the first weight vegetables. Then the second one is April. You choose any term April, then mark entry, mark all, 
crabs. Apple. Then we now want crabs. As you can see, Apple is now included. You will see by this one. Only if you activate paragraph code. Uh, okay. Then what we want now is apricot. Uh, I mean grapes. The second, the last weight that we want to include as part of it, of our index. Then you see, mark entry, mark all, close. Then it's done. We've selected all the way. Then what will happen? Maybe if you don't want a table of content to be included on on those index, then we delete this from the table of content. We delete this. We use a delete key. I put a cursor. Delete, delete key. I put the cursor before you. Delete key, delete key. I put a cursor, delete, delete. So it will only consider where it's from page two onwards. I mean page three onwards, not the table of contents. Okay. Then we save. We save this file, save as, as indexes. It is no longer table of content, but we, our focus is indexes to be index then save then now we are sorted we have highlighted we've included all the weights we've add marked all the weights for index that we want then the last step we put our case away we want it to be inserted then what do you do you go the very same section, everything about indexes must go there. Then you say insert index. Maybe they say uh, your index must be inserted, uh, numbers must be right aligned, uh, and it must be two columns, your index. Let's do it and see. You see right now the sample it shows you numbers are not right aligned, which means a number will be just next to the weight that is listed on your index. This is the sample of how your index will look like but that's not what we want we want it to be right aligned you see when it is not right aligned uh, the tab leader what goes between the the weight and the page number uh, is not activated because if it, the number is not right aligned you don't need the tab leader that goes between the weight and the page number so then what we do if we want the numbers to be right aligned, we click right align. Once right align is clicked, then we activate. Maybe they will tell you with leader dots, the tab lead. Or oh, as you can see, there are dots. If you want dashes between, you choose dash. If you want a line, you choose a line in between. If you want nothing, you choose none, and then there is just a space between the word and the number, page number. So in our case, we assume they want a tab leader, leader dots. Then they said they want it in two columns. Then we've got two columns. If they wanted three, up to four. You cannot have more than four columns on, in the, on your indexes. So they want two. Then we say, Okay, once done, then we are sorted. We have two columns, our indexes have been inserted. Then, how many lines here? It's one, two, three. We delete one line to make it two because the instruction says two lines are required. Open. Then we increase the font here for the sake of visibility so that our index is visible. Yeah. Okay. And I hope you understood. That is the end. You mark the weights first by clicking mark entry. Then once done, you insert the index. 
where you put by placing your cursor where you want your indexes to be inserted then you will be done with your indexes yeah thank you this is the end of our lesson on indexes see you next time